What's up everybody, it's Zidrava12 here, and today we're going to go back to the beginning of the match tutorial series. If you have never heard of this series before, it's basically where to choose one character out of the roster, and I try to get you better with that single character. Today's character we actually have is Boruto, the scientific ninja tool, Boruto. So this is actually the one I want to do next after the, our last Boruto. So this is actually my favorite Boruto. So, in terms of um, his comparison compared to all the Boruto's, he's the least aggressive one they all kind of play very similar except really this one the two well the two plays the most similar besides this one he's less aggressive and more of a trap setter you're going to be mainly using his tools well like his scientific ninja tools to basically get the edge on your opponents he's not really pressure or um like he's he's he's, he's mainly more a setup so most of these setups are you're going to be using a lot most of the time but if you guys did enjoy this episode make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe but without further ado let's get started so let's get started so first things first um as I said before in the intro, you're going to notice how this Boruto actually does not go anywhere compared to the other two Boruto's. They have momentum and they have kind of automatic pressure because they kind of go forward with their combos. But as you see with this Boruto, he kind of stays still. I did not want to do that lightning jutsu. He kind of stays still and he's kind of slow right here. In terms of his block, he actually does have, he actually has like kind of no block strings whatsoever. You kind of notice this, but we're going to get into that a little bit. But so far, his neutral game is pretty slow and it's obviously weaker than the other ones. He doesn't move anywhere and he doesn't actually, um, he, he, he doesn't benefit from this. So, um, yeah, his combos are going to be a little bit weird. It's, I'm not going to say they're worse because it's the way how they, how you use them is determines how good they are. But yeah, let's start with some of his combos now. So, let's go to the neutral combo first. All right, let's go to his down combo. Man, I love this Boruto. I love the Jutsus. Let's go with the up and the air combo. All right, so we got a lot to talk about. So there's a lot of stuff this Boruto has hidden within his combos that um, only someone who's analytical, kind of like me, can really decipher. How much versatility this guy have so first of all with this neutral combo nothing really too special so this is actually a pretty fast combo um and does pretty decent damage um so this is kind of the combo is still a valid option of using it's still pretty a uh, powerful combo but of course you want you definitely want to use this whenever you have a straight back of course but let's go with the down combo down combo is honestly just as fast as the neutral combo and does more damage than the um uh, than the neutral combo so this is the target of the combo you really want to be aiming for this is more damage it's just as fast and like well that's really it it's just as powerful and it got speed and really that's all the two things you need in a combo the only thing this dude's missing is really an infinite combo the down combo and then you're pretty much set. But these two combos are very interchangeable. So I'd say use down combo whenever you don't have a strike back. And if you do have a strike back on your team, then use the neutral combo. But I would say the most one you want to use is the down combo for majority of your matches. All right, so next we're going to is his up combo. So his up combo is pretty versatile. So right where the little tornado hits, that's where you want to stop. That's where like a lot of your versatility is uh, coming out, right? Here, right there so that is the hit right before the last hit uh, so that is really good so um, let me go through a couple things that you can do with this up combo so first of all this is an excellent guard break pill you just back up and then use your guard break pill this instant guard break very easy to do next we got it this is also good for extending combos because this links up straight perfectly into an air combo so you want to get that little bit of damage off extra damage this is a very good punish and this this actually does the most damage out of all your uh combos in your arsenal so yeah this up combo is a valid um it's it's it's, it's a valid damage though which not a lot of up combos are so like that almost took pretty much half a green bar you know like that that almost did like that was like 40 percent which is not bad at all so 
that's pretty much it we're going to talk about for this upcoming for right now. But don't worry, this upcoming will keep coming back for a while. Um, actually, one, one last thing before I want to move on. So, last thing is, this is actually the best block screen that this Boruto has. So, let's say your opponent is blocking, right? You want to use this up combo, and it pushes them back, and you really have a couple options. First things first, you can actually link up again to your air combo, which I don't recommend because it doesn't really combo up too well. But you can do a shuriken. So, a chocolate shuriken is probably what I recommend right here, and then you kind of want to reset again. So they can't really get out of this because that tornado is a lasting hitbox, which makes it perfect for extending the guard onto something else. So that's really good. Next, you do a grab, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. Very good. But this tornado is basically the one you want to be doing for most of your block streams. Then doing a chocolate shuriken since it has the least amount of uh, lag whenever you try to continue it. Next we got is the tilt and the grab. So let's go with the tilt first, since this is kind of his bread and butter. So this is what I mean when I say Borja is kind of a setup character. So Borja actually has three tilts that are all projectiles. So his first tilt by using, just like just pressing the tilt, is a green projectile of wind. And it goes pretty far in across the screen. Like look at that. And it, it tracks kind of heavily. So you can't really combo up with this, but only if you switch up to another character, you can combo up with it. The next uh, tilt, if you press the tilt twice, not actually once, twice, and you get water styles. So this water style summons a big water first and summons little waters, uh, water bullets right afterwards. So this is very good for putting the like pressure on somebody or you can even advance. So the best thing about this tilt is that you can actually um switch to a different character right afterwards just like that as long as the first water bullet uh water bullet pops out like it stays there that's gonna be good so let me teach you about that in a little bit but the last tilt is an unblockable across the screen blast that is unblockable like unblockable is just the keyword right here like that is just good so it doesn't do a lot of damage but the fact that it's unblockable means that you have a lot of like opportunity to get some sneak attacks on some people so let's talk about these tilts for a second so let's go a bit let's go by the uh one by one so the first tilt is the wind blast you really want to be using this whenever you're at mid-range it's literally just a projectile you don't really want to follow up with this too much you just it's just a projectile that you have that is a little bit laggy a little bit so you don't want to use this too much i would just say like if you want to shoot out a projectile sure go on and do it but this is probably the least of uh, the least uh was the least tilt you're going to use because it kind of do hold you in lag for a little bit it's not like the water bullet that the other bullet the boruto has it's just kind of, it's just there. Like, hey, got a projectile. Cool. Next, you got to go with the water style. So, that was the lightning style. Hold up. Not that. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Water style. That's the wind style. Oh, my God. There you go. Water style. This is probably the one you're going to be using the most because it has the most versatility for you and your team. So, first, use it as yourself. This is really good for basically putting pressure on the person. So, you can't follow up with it by yourself. But they they are, when they do get hit by it, they are being put in a bunch of hit stun. Like, this is all hit stun right there. So, they get hit with it right here. I can actually follow up and just walk up and then just get it. So this actually puts pressure on the opponent and forces them to guard. Even while they're guarding, they have to block this. Otherwise, like, they're just going to take a bunch of shield pressure. So the bad thing about this is you have to use it kind of at mid-range. Use it at close range. If you block the main water bullet, the rest of the smaller water bullets won't come out. See, just like that. But if you, if I stand back a little bit more, then all the water bullets will come out. So this is going to be extremely important. So if I do that, then I can still jump in and still get some pressure off. So either way, I'm getting something good with this tilt. The hard part about this tilt is just landing it, but I'll teach you how to land it in a little bit. So use it for your team. Use it for Borto. All you need to do is just have the first big water bullet come out. And then you kind of switch to a different character. There we go. And then you can actually push up with that character. So this is insanely good 
for your team. The amount of support that this gets your team is just insane. Like, you just go right with this. And the best thing is it covers, like, a good part of the screen, too. So it's like, I would say it covers, like, probably one-third of the screen, whatever you're landing. So either way, if one of those bullets hit you, they're, you're going to be taking a bunch of his stun, and it just gives you, like, pretty much a free sub. It gives you an advantage of this. That's really good. So a good way to catch this and to make sure it hits is watch their roll. Whenever they're coming at you, you can do this. Whenever they are, let's say I do a down combo, right? Do a down combo. They're down on the ground. This is the perfect time to use a tilt right here. You want to get them while they're rolling because they can't actually go anywhere. And most likely they're going to get hit. So right here. And that can push up. Perfect. There's no way you can escape that. So if you catch the roll, that's the perfect opportunity. Or even, like if I do this, then switch this. Oh, okay, boards are switching out. All right, switch out. That worked too? Okay, that didn't work right there. But yeah, you see where I'm getting. Like, if you if you get it while they're rolling, this is really good. But it, it can still be used for a long range. They can still be used as defensive sort of jutsu, like pushing back. Because it's still, let me see, does it go full screen? Let me see. Ah, it does not go full screen. It does not. Okay. Good thing we got that out of the picture. But yeah, it still goes pretty good. So even if you want to just cover the screen, like, you still, like, can predict their dodge. Just like, if I use this, I can pretty much tell they're going to go to the side. I can chakra dash and catch their dodge. Either way, it's still really good. Next, and the last one we're going to do is the lightning style. So this is the unblockable lightning style. So this lightning style is pretty good for just getting people randomly. I would say use this at mid to long range and try to camouflage yourself as much as possible. So use this definitely while they're guarding because like not a lot of people notice this. So like using a support to get them caught like like Hanabi or Misaki, a multi-hitting support that keeps them there gives you a free damage for this. Like it literally, you make them sub. So this is very good. Like you can have some pretty good setups. I would say use this at any point the opponent is still because the opponent is going to be scared of this lightning style. So using this whenever you trap them or again, whenever you catch the roll, That'll work too. Or maybe you're extremely long range and you're camouflaged by a water wall or something and they don't see you charging this up and they get hit by it. Either way, or even using it while they're pushing in, either way, it still gives you a lot of versatility. So I would say use the water style and the lightning style the most. Never really use the wind style. It's just kind of bad and there's really nothing too good about it. Next, we're going to the grab. So his grab is literally just a kick that goes forward, which he goes forward pretty far. So there are actually some links up into this grab. So the first link, uh, just a true combo, is the up combo right here on the tornado. If you just mash grab, it links up perfectly to the grab. It actually gets some pretty good damage. So the reason why you want to be doing this sometimes because it's a confirm. And also, this is pretty good for if the opponent does not want to use like any subs. So perhaps you can get a quick sub uh, or a quick throw out and confirm some easy damage. Like let's say they don't want to sub, you know, this is always an option you can do. I did that wrong. Well, I did a lot of damage. Wow. Um, another one, this is recommended while they're blocking. Again, the win style as well. The wind style is just a very good because it's a multi-hitting lasting move. So they're kind of trapped in here for a little bit. Let me try it one more time. There we go. So that's pretty much perfect. That is the perfect like grab setup right there. But this grab is actually very good that it can be linked up into any part of Boruto's combos. Even like the first three hits, it can be linked up because the opponent literally just stays there in front of you. So this grab, I wouldn't say spam, but I would say if you have the opportunity to use this close range, most definitely use it. It has pretty good range. All right, so next we're going to move on to his juicy, which is the Borto Rush. So the Borto Rush is, I'm not going to lie, probably the most disappointing jutsu, especially um, when this Borto has access to all the elements. And they couldn't give this man a Rasengan or anything. They gave them shadow and clothes you don't even use the ninja tool with this thing like it's so stupid you could have gave them like fire style water style donzo's jutsu and i don't know earth style mud wall like, you gotta have them choose or use like it's just so boring but 
Boruto Rush is basically just um, a Jutsu that pushes the opponent back and goes into a strike back. Um, the damage is actually very little. Um, it's yeah, that's that's pretty little damage. I don't know what that is. So you don't really want to be using this for damage. Just use this for pressure and support, most of all. So use this as board. So the one main thing that I would say use this as is whenever you're on the guard, you can actually just use the up combo like I said again, and then use the board to rush to push them back. So with this, they actually can't go near you at all. Like you, you push them back so much to the point where like it just. You can be safe, and this is, it gives you a lot more options to run away. So you want to play kind of defensively, use the board for us to push them back at any moment, and then get back. Like, it's kind of that simple. That is probably the most, the best way to use this, of uh, using this, because it doesn't have a lot of range. I did not want to do that. As you can see right here, it doesn't have a lot of range, and it, the hitbox is kind of janky. It can kind of miss sometimes. So another way to use it is to use it after... The up combo as the co uh, combo ender. So let me demonstrate for you. So just like that. So that did pretty good damage. But honestly, this Jutsu does not. It's not really made for doing damage. I would say um, you can actually use the air combo and get around the same amount of damage because you don't want to waste like a Jutsu on this. But you know, this is still an option. You know, it does do you know a chunk of HP. But honestly, I wouldn't waste. My effort with this part of the Jutsu, I mean, it's still an option though. You, this is still the most damaging combo you have, but this Jutsu overall does not do that much damage. So you're probably better off with just using like an air combo or just like another down combo to get more damage off. So let's talk about using this Boruto as support. So using Boruto as support, it's not bad at all. You will have to use this Boruto close range and it only goes straight. Um, it's, it's not the best support in the world, but you know what, um, if you want to use this at close range support, it's actually not that bad, because sometimes the, the shadow clones can kind of turn or move towards the opponent, which is still pretty good, but honestly, this is still kind of a mediocre support. I would just say use the support right as they're about to sub, or right before you're about to approach to push him, because, you know, he does have some range. Just like this, you even know you want to do that, you know, to give you some backup. But honestly, this is really not a support. Like I wouldn't really race a uh, waste of support. His juice is probably one of the worst things about this board though. Like it's it's kind of garbage. If I'm I'm not gonna lie. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna talk about this Jutsu, or his ultimate Jutsu. So his ultimate Jutsu is very simple. So let's go with the easy one first. It is. Right here, the fifth hit of the neutral combo, which is where he spurts out the water wheel or whatever it's called. This is the perfect ultra juice cancel. Wow, that didn't want work. Hold on. There we go. Now it works. Okay, I don't know why it worked like uh before. So this is actually a good counter. Just wait till the water wheel comes out, and then you got cancel it really fast. I love this ultra juicy so much. It's so colorful. Look at that beautiful Rasengan, that is so nice. So this is probably the easiest one to combo up into, but um, there are yes, some more options. The other option is the up combo where the tornado comes out. That is a perfect cancel, and it also gives out the most damage. So I recommend canceling up. Oh, look, let me do that one more time. Wait till Naruto is up in the air, or not, okay. Oh yeah, I know where it is. So you gotta use the up combo and then dash out. Yeah, just like that, right there. That's perfect, right there. My battery's low, that's fine. So yeah, for this ultimate juicy cancel, you just use the up combo, you have to back dash, then you have to use the ultimate jutsu in pretty much immediately. And this will give you more damage and it's sorta of, kinda of easy to cancel up into. So let me demonstrate one more time. So up combo with a tornado and you want to back dash by pressing, or you want to sidestep away. It doesn't really matter which way you sidestep. With a sidestep out of your combo, and then cancel the ultimate juice suit immediately. So I did it too late that time. Let me do it one more time. Perfect. Ah, oh, that was too late. Perfect. There you go. But we already seen this, so we don't need to see it again. So now I can give the overview for this Boruto. So this Boruto is pretty darn good in my opinion but he's not as good as the the other board so because the other board so is 
more versatile than this one but the main thing about this board so is that uh, you're mainly going to use his combo, which is his tornado, most of all, because that, that up combo is pretty good, and his tilt. His tilts are where it's at with this board. So, so combo-wise, he has pretty decent damage, pretty decent speed, and pretty decent versatility that you can do in setups with this tornado. You got like four options. So that's pretty amazing right there. Um, his air combo is pretty average. His grab is pretty good. Like, it goes kind of far. Like, it, it, it can cancel up into majority of his combos. And also, it's not a bad grab to be just throwing out there because it just moves forward. It has a pretty big hitbox on that foot, too. So, this is really, like, a pretty good grab, in my opinion. And also, his tilt is where it's at. Of course, only use the water style and the lightning style. The water style is basically used for your team so you can push up with it. So always switch out to your teammates and always get damage for your team. Either pressure or guard damage, something. This is just really good. Always use this to catch the roll because this set, that is just amazing. That's like a confirmed water style hit. Also, lightning style. Lightning style is good for um, basic supports that can lock. Um, lock opponents in like pretty much like this music key multi hit. This is pretty good or Hanabi support or um, Maybe you can use support to disguise yourself like Asuma's uh, Smoke ash or the water wall like there's you gotta kind of like mix it up a little bit But using this lightning style I would say use this all the time at mid to long range and You can get some pretty good damage off racking up because it's unblockable So you gotta have to spam that the worst thing about this uh, this Boruto is most definitely his Jutsu. I would say not never ever use this Jutsu because it doesn't provide you anything, no damage, no pressure. The only thing that you can use it for is basically push your, your opponent back whenever you don't want them to come towards you, especially while they're blocking. So it gives you a way to actually go go out there. So yeah, so this Boruto is pretty good. Let's go into Boruto's Awakening. That is not the Awakening. Here we go. So this is literally just one, another one of those lazy awakenings where you just, uh, you just use Boruto. I'm, I'm pretty mad about it. So yeah, is there any difference? Nope, there's any, there's no difference. It's the exact same thing. So just use Boruto how I taught you before and you should be fine. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to tell me who else you want me to do down in the comment section below so I can pretty much add them up in the votes and that will be the next character. So. The next character after this I'm going to do is definitely the other Boruto, but after that I'll do the next requested character. Um, thank you guys for watching, Mr. 12, and I'll see you guys next time.